We have some very, very sad news on the pond today. It's been a week since the last video where we got the gar for future pond monster for this tank, for this pond. We have some extremely sad news. So I was on vacation filming something that I'm not gonna mention yet for y'all because it's just gonna be such great videos that I don't wanna spoil it. But we were somewhere north of New Jersey, if that's, a, if that's a clue, chasing big fish in some of the most crazy waters out there. Anyway, Charles, who's behind the camera right now, texted us because you know he came in clutch and fed the fish while I was gone. We had nine koi, one mega comet, and so put that fish in a category, put those fish in a category. The one massive koi, we had the albino koi, and the shark. Eight of those koi are gone. The albino is dead. And right now, we have a remaining three fish in the pond, one little black koi that's about an inch, the shark, and the big koi. I'm actually devastated, annoyed, upset, and angry all at the same time. We put a ton of hard work into this pond and all my fish are stolen. Now when I say stolen, I don't mean by human because the white albino that was here, he was actually floated up and his sides were like almost gone, like eaten out by some critter. So we think it could be a fox, it could be a raccoon, or it could be a heron, you know, those big birds with the long necks. We have three fish remaining in our pond. And as you can see, there are no koi. You saw the abundance of koi in here before. It's pretty much all deserted, which is not good. We don't really know what happened. We don't have any cams or anything, you know, set up, but we're definitely gonna have to set up a trap for whatever it is, because it could be a raccoon, it could be a fox. And flashback to last summer when we had our pool pond, Charles trapped a really, really nice raccoon that was eating our, that ate our pike that was in there, which was just devastating. We're gonna have to do the same here, but that's gonna be for next video. But I wanted to give an update, a devastating update right now on the backyard pond. Initially, this was an abandoned pond. It was gross and disgusting. It looks great now in terms of, you know, the water level and everything, you know, it does evaporate constantly, but it's filling up. So we got a full water level, the filter's working great, but those dang critters came and stole all of our fish. Absolutely devastated and disappointing, but fortunately we do have our big orange koi right there. He's doing great. We do have our shark, which is right there, right, Charles? Is that the shark? Yeah, yeah, the shark's right there. He kind of just hanging on the bottom right now. And then we do have a little one inch koi, which is extremely hard to see because he's so small. I have no idea where he is. It's devastating. It is what it is. I, I really, the width of the pond is so big that animals can't really, you know, even get to the center of the pond, even if a bird with a long neck, so. I thought that would be, you know, it wouldn't be a problem, but we're gonna have to have to make some re repercussions for the future of this pond. I think to get some more life back in the pond, we're gonna get some goldfish, we're gonna get a trap. Absolutely devastating news. I, I still can't believe it. Like Charles texted me and I was like, absolutely no way. We bought five of the, the koi from Amazon, four of the koi from a fish store, and now we just have the, our big guy, which he's pretty sick, not gonna lie. I'm gonna get the food right now. We're gonna do some feeding. Did the raccoon take the food? I put it right here yesterday. We were just about to feed the orange koi. We usually put the, uh, the food by this stump right here. I think the raccoon took the food. I literally left it here yesterday, not even 12 hours ago, give or take, and it's gone. I don't see it. Unless it magically rolled away, I don't see it, but this is actually stupid. What the heck? Yeah, a trap is definitely gonna have to be placed. That is actually ridiculous. And there's a ton of garbage here as well. And I want to just take some of the bags, of the garbage bags, and just fill some of this garbage. So while I'm doing that, let's break down the future of this pond. So y'all have been leaving great suggestions in the comments about what to do with the pond for the future. Y'all said add water lilies, add high fin banded sharks. This might have to be like a big period of the pond that we're gonna have to adjust to because we now have, we just have the big koi and nothing's eating the big koi. You know, a smaller size bass, littler fish are not gonna eat the shark, not gonna eat the koi. So we might actually put some different kind of fish in here so we can we can expand the pond and you know, rebuild the life. We definitely, the trap is, is gonna be a huge factor to get whatever is being the culprit of stealing our fish. It's just not good, guys. I can't believe the food's gone, too. Like, are you kidding me? All right.
but we have a lot of garbage here that I need to throw out. But in the meantime, is this the Beyond Blade? Bro. <laughs> oh, great. All right. Yeah, definitely some needs some cleaning up to do. Y'all, also, mind you, this, this project's definitely gonna be, you know, one we're gonna do for a really long time. I do have to, oh my gosh, that smells so bad. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. Good thing I brought gloves. These gloves will be going in the garbage after. A lot of problems right now, a lot of problems. And it really has nothing to do with any of the things we thought would initially be a problem. It's nothing like with the actual pond itself where like it's leaking or, you know, the fish are dying on their own. It's nothing like that. So that's good, I, I guess. But in terms of our thieves over here, not up to par, not up to par. So I'm gonna finish up cleaning this garbage and then Charles and I are gonna go to the store. This is not good. I don't know what the plan's gonna be for the future. Probably gonna buy some goldfish in another video for this just to get some more life in the pond. Charles, the food has to be here, right? Like, there's no shot a raccoon possibly got into the little enclosed container. Like, it would be different if it was a plastic bag, but this is a, you know, a legitimate container. Dude, it, it, the koi that, if they grew up, would have looked so sick. You know, rest in peace, koi. So Charles and I are gonna, we're gonna assess a plan and go get a trap and, and we'll set it up, but devastating news. So Charles and I went to Harbor Freight closed and we were gonna get some other, you know, fish for the pond, but the person working at the store didn't recommend that we get them because they would kill our big koi. So that's not ideal. We're gonna put some of the food in right now. We just got some new food because as you know, our raccoon Definitely did not, uh, definitely took our food. So our big koi is sitting over there and we're gonna throw some food in and see if he gets it. Now, are these sinking or floating? They are sinking too. That's good. Got some new food, makes our big koi healthy. And our little one inch koi and shark, hopefully they like this stuff too, so. Well, quite devastating news on today. Just thought I'd make a quick video, but I need some urgent suggestions on what to do with this pond because we don't want more stuff like this to happen. We need more life in this pond, some new life. Definitely not ideal, this situation. Extremely devastating. I can't emphasize that enough. But other than no fish being here, it's looking good. So hopefully our koi fattens up, eats good. And next video, I want to put a GoPro in the pond and kind of get some cool shots of the koi to see if that looks cool. Possibly add some more structure and possibly even some water lilies to put over the side of the pond so it could have more cover for the fish so they don't get eaten by, you know, other creatures. But please leave some suggestions in the comments. I'm definitely gonna put this food in a place where a raccoon cannot get it, but we're gonna trap this thing and we're gonna get the culprit for sure. I appreciate you guys for watching another one. Go check out Everglades Fish & Co, an awesome clothing brand. I think this is some of the sickest fishing brand there is out there um, in addition to fish fumbler but you know this is an awesome permit design shirt i think this shirt is sick i have a long sleeve one as well hook charles up with one it's awesome stuff and go check out fish fumbler as well everglades Fish and co and fish fumbler great great clothing link down below and we're gonna have new drops um, and new designs coming out for fish fumbler soon but i appreciate y'all for clicking on this one very devastating just want to give you guys a quick update all glory to god be positive, just fish.